All right, my beautiful followers, good evening and welcome to today's class. In today's class, I want to take you through this device, which we call a clamp meter. A clamp meter is a type of multimeter which measures different electrical properties, including testing diodes, measuring resistance, measuring voltages, and then current. The word clamp came into it because of this jaw that we use to clamp on a current carrying conductor. Used to clamp on it. Of course, we, have, we want to have the conductor in the middle of this jaw. This jaw is actually a, a current transformer, but we will get there in a short while. So first, let us take this one by one. Here, we have the sockets for the measuring probes. Probe is just the wire that we connect to the meter. So here, if we want to measure voltage, we're going to plug in the red probe into this red socket. And then we're going to plug in the black probe into this black socket. If we want to measure things like the resistance or we want to test a diode, we're going to remove the red probe from here and plug it here while the black probe remains in this common. This one is the LCD, the liquid crystal display, where all our measured values are displayed in digital form for us to see. This button is the power button. When we press it, the machine will come on this way. And looking at this place, you see that there are some things here which are not very clear. And this button is the backlight for the LCD. So when you press it, you see that most of these things, or if not all of it, are now very clear that we can see it. But this light can only last for only 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, it goes off to save the battery. And this dial or a selector switch is used to select what you want to measure. For example, right now it is pointing at diode. So if you want to test your diode, you are going to set it to diode. If you want to measure resistance or continuity, we are going to turn the selector switch to phase resistance and continuity. But here we can measure continuity and resistance, but not above 200 ohms. Any resistance above 200 ohms cannot be measured when the selector switch is pointing here. So if the resistance is above 200 ohms and not more than 2000 ohms, we're going to select this one. This one can measure resistance up to 2000, but not above 2000 ohms. So when we want to measure voltage, direct current, we're going to select this one. It cannot measure above 1000 volts DC. When we want to measure AC voltage, we're going to select this one. It cannot measure above 750 volts AC. When we want to measure current,